I'm thinking just like as much toilet paper as we can get over here. Cause you don't have a toilet, but you're gonna need toilet paper regardless. We can give them at least a little bit of what they need. Hello and welcome. Today we are posing the question, can you build a house in The Sims with just kits? I already know the answer because no kit comes with a toilet, but I'm gonna try my darndest anyways. So let's get into it. So I'm thinking I'm gonna go with like a ranch house situation. Now part of me says you should look at the architecture that came with kits before you decide what kind of house you're gonna build. But I've decided I'm not gonna cater to the kits. The kits are gonna cater to me. And if they don't, then that means it's a failure. So there you go. I actually don't have very good knowledge of kits off the top of my head. I only bought them when I started doing Sims videos because it kind of seemed like the thing to do to have all the kits. So I haven't built with them like oh, a ton. So this is a good chance to, you know, check the situation out. See what we're dealing with here. Our house is an S and that's the house that we have. I'm gonna try to make it like a two bedroom so we can do like a master and a kids and see to see if we can do a master and a kids. I probably shouldn't say this, but I'm not 100% concerned with making it look super good because I don't think it's gonna look super good like regardless, you know what I mean? <laughs> We're dealing with just kids here. That's my concern. So I think this is fine for the shape. Maybe I'll add a little bit of a roof piece here like that, that might be nice. I mean, it's a house. That's what I was going for, so that's good. Now, now we go and we <laughs> see what the kits offer us. So yeah, the Mediterranean kit, is that like all we're gonna have for architecture? I'm intimidated by this kit, cause I mean, I'm like a Midwestern American, I don't know how to do Mediterranean builds. So I've, I've from the jump been intimidated by this kit, but let's see what we can do with it. I mean, those are the stairs we're gonna have to use. And this is the fence. Oh, the fence? Oh, that's a pretty fence though. I like that. We have a couple door options. Oh, well, not really. We basically just have this door or or this sliding double door, which actually could kind of work. Maybe we have a sliding front door. And match it, like, it kind of matches the fence. Yeah, look at that. I have to be honest, I don't know how hard to go. I don't know how hard to go with this because, like, for example, there's no foundations. There's no roof tiles. Like, that kind of stuff seems like, well, I was gonna say it seems like I should be able to use it anyways, but, I mean, if we're asking the question, can you build a house with kits, then it's cheating to, like, not use kits. So, okay. I think the one thing I am gonna give myself, though, is the just the roof trim, because there's no reason for any kits to come with roof trim and it's gonna drive me insane if we don't have it. So we're sticking with the default roof tile, but I'm just put a little trim on there just for my own sanity. All right, what do we have? Oh, we have like brick walls. So we can do something with that because the other option is just to do like this, which honestly might be better. I don't hate the brick. It's just like, it's almost too much of a mishmash of different things. Um, Let's look at windows. I don't, I'm scared. Oh, okay. Whoa. What in the world? That's kind of fun. We could just have this giant window out that out our front thingy. Okay, this lot is awful. There's too many trees. I don't know why I picked it is the only thing. And then, uh, is this better? I mean, do we want to use these like, like that? Would that be good? The colors on this are kind of disappointing. It's literally just black. And this, this color, which is like supposed to be brown, but it's like, like the swatch is brown, but it's kind of just like metal. I just, I guess I'll just go with that. Or maybe we should just make everything black so that like everything will match because it's all black. That's probably the smartest thing to do, isn't it? So is that just, is that just the window situation? We could put this thing up there. That's really weird. That's okay. It's okay if it's really weird. Like, what am I even doing here? <laughs> what am I even doing here? Let's look at columns. Oh, those are fat columns. What the heck? Are these like good? Like, are these good columns to... <laughs> Did they do a good job on these when they made these? This is such a goofy looking house. I didn't do that on purpose. <laughs> Maybe I won't do this roof piece and we'll do like something fun, like that thing. This, we could just make it small. We could just make it a small porch. <laughs> there we go. The column looks like it's upside down. Do you know what I mean? It looks like it's supposed to be the other way, I feel like. Let's just do this like white one. We do have these that we can add. Oh, I gotta be honest, that makes it look like you're gonna bonk your head if you try to walk up there. Maybe I change my mind and, and everything's gonna have a white accent instead of a black accent. I'm sorry that I said that thing about the white accents. I lied. I lied. Except for this big door doesn't have anything even remotely approaching white on it. Well, that kind of. 
Oh, and this fence. Well, sure. Maybe the fence will just be blue then. Maybe we'll just have a blue fence. I don't know. Why not? What, what even is a color scheme, you know? If you really think about it. Okay, I'm gonna look at floors. All right, all right, all right, all right. I love this floor. It is very nice. This might be good. Oh yeah, look at that. I mean, go big or go home. If we're going with the blue, that's kind of nice. We can make this door bright blue too. Yay, now it's just blue. I'm happy with blue. I have to decide whether I want to keep this door or not because it's kind of ruining the vibes. Requires a taller wall height. Now, hear me out. Maybe we just make the tall, the wall height <laughs> as tall as possible and we use this door. That's beautiful. Blue door. Do we have windows for the tall? Well, we have windows for the medium. Let's just go like that. That's fine. Ah, oh, beautiful, beautiful. These columns look better tall too. Yeah, these columns look a lot better on tall wall height. We gotta replace this situation though. We gotta do, let's do the big open doors out to the back porch. Ooh, beautiful. Oh, do you know what? We need a big back porch because then we can use that one kit, the Desert Lux kit for the back porch. Yeah. Okay, if I move the whole house over, then we have plenty of room for our beautiful backyard. We can bring it around. Kind of looks good. Can we add a pool? Do pools count? I think I can add a pool. I think that's allowed. Can I add a pool trim? No, no pool trim with kits. <laughs> oh, I'm just playing. This is just me playing and having fun. I hope that's okay. Is there anything else that we can do out here? Because I think I'm out of stuff. Oh, railing for the stairs, I suppose, would be good. Do we have any land? No landscaping. No, no landscaping allowed. What a big old bummer. Are we committed to this wallpaper outside too? Because now that I've like kind of changed the game a little bit, we can get a little, we can get a little crazy. We can go, let's look at this pink. <gasps> Wait, that looks cute as hell. I actually love this color. I mean, does it look good? That's a different question. I will add more windows, by the way. I didn't add any windows to the side because I'm gonna do the floor plan first. This is the house is really good. This is a good house. Let's go inside. Okay, let me think. Cause kitchen and kitchen and dining could go on this side very easily. And then <clears throat> the bedrooms could go on this side, but then where's the living? Unless we do kitchen and living. Do we even have a dining table? That's a question. Do we need to provide a space for a dining table? Oh, we do actually. Well, okay, it could be like here. So it could be like kitchen, dining, living, and then and then where's the bathroom? Do we have room for like a hallway? This is a bedroom, this is the bathroom, this is the other bedroom. And then we just like have a hallway. Yeah, wait, that kind of works. And then three doors with low windows so you can see in and peep on them. I can't do anything about that. Let's look at lights. What, how do I light this place up? I do, okay, I have a lamp. I have some hanging lights. Oh yeah, outdoor lights. Not to go right back outside, but let me just place a couple right there. Let's add these windows across here and then one back here. See, I don't know what why I've made this decision, but this side of the house is for these windows and this side of the house is for these windows. I just don't wanna use the same window 17 times. I wanna use the same two windows 10 times each instead. Ooh, we can put the rug, fuzzy rug in the bedrooms. Let's use like, let's go crazy with it. Use the squiggly one. Well, I think this will be the kids room and this will be the parents bedroom. So we can do like, I don't know, a more tame like light pink. Oh, what do we do with the rest of the house? I wanna use this decor to the max. Jeez, we don't have any wood. So maybe we do tile for the kitchen decor to the max for the living room and then just stone for the rest of it and then we used all the floor and then we've used all the floors oh this is so dumb yeah i don't think i realized like really how much space there is in here because it's like the tall walls always like skew my perspective now we have country kitchen kit so i know that i can in fact make a kitchen what color do we want to do maybe we should go white maybe we should just like be a little calm about it no reason to go so crazy Wow, this is a humongous kitchen. This, okay. This house is so big. I'm sorry I didn't notice how big this house is. Ooh, it's crazy. Why did I make this house so big? Let's see, where do we put everything? Put the stove there and the fridge there, I think. A sink can go right under the window. That's always very nice. Okay, well, the sink comes with a purple accent, so maybe I'll just make the fridge and the, and the stove purple. Should we wrap the kitchen around the corner, actually? The biggest kitchen, biggest kitchen witnessed by God. It's beautiful. <laughs> Maybe we can get rid of this window so we can just like do cabinets all the way across the back. Oh yeah, that looks good. Yeah, five, five, five identical cabinets with identical mugs all across the wall. Yeah, 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 yeah. That looks, yeah, no. I hate these cabinets actually, I think. This looks awful. Oh, we have a trash can though. That's nice. 
Oh, I like the little soda pop. No fire alarm, no appliances. There's some decor though, I know there is. I'm just gonna place this stuff everywhere. This kitchen is so big that like, I can do anything and it'll still function. There's no lights in here yet either. Okay, we got some, oh yeah, okay, we got some of these. That's good light. Let's put some chairs around the table. Oh wait, are you for real? Is this um, is this a bar table? Or is this a table table? Oh, it must be a bar table. I didn't realize that. Wait, that's kind of like chic. Oh yeah, I actually, I like that. This is making me actually want to use these kits. <laughs> in a shocking turn of event. Oh, I forgot light switches exist. Oh, I gotta put light switches in every room. Do we have any rugs? Yes, we do. Of course we have rugs. What am I talking about? Oh, we can use the, yeah, the loft kit one. Just like this creamy one. Yeah, that matches in here. Do I want to pick a different floor in here too? Oh, I kind of like that. Aw, this kitchen isn't terrible considering how haphazardly I put it together. We have all those plants, so I can definitely put a plant on the table. I actually love this table a lot. It's kind of like changed my life a little bit. I'm really excited to use it. Fun. Okay, let's move on to the living room. Well, this is the TV that we have. It fits. Look, it's beautiful. Oh, we have quite a few couches. This is the Desert Luxe couch is my favorite. Do we not have matching chairs? All right, I'll use these. Wow. I actually really like these chairs. They match too. Sorry, I'm like surprising myself. <laughs> Ooh, and a fireplace right here. A coffee table. We can use the decor to the max one or the loft kit one. We can bring the blue back from outside. Maybe I'll change the floor in here to something a little more subtle. I'm just having fun. We can put this above the fireplace. Ooh, a vase in the corner. Dope. What rug do we want? Whoa. Whoa, I love that. Like for real, actually, I love that. Oh, I'm learning. This video is educational to me. Actually, it turns out. Oh my gosh, I need to change the floor. Oh yeah, okay, that's nice. And then we can use that royal blue. Now I don't really want that coffee table anymore. I kinda wanna use, I'd like to put a side table. Oh, this big flowery one. Yeah, I'll put that right between the chairs. Why not? Oh, we need that big, we need that big lamp in here. This one, yeah, I love this lamp. I'm feeling so inspired right now, which is really funny because this is such a silly little thing that <laughs> this build that I'm doing is like so silly, but it's inspiring me for, for builds that are not this build. And then we need something on here. Maybe the candles. That's the living room. I mean, obviously it's terrible, but I kind of love it. All right, let's see. Now we have this huge space as an entryway. Let's look at decor. Well, here's a pipe. Do we want to put a pipe in here? Oh, we should put this in here. Sorry, I got distracted. That goes right there. That thing is dope. Okay, we can put that thing there and then also the, the purse is right next to it, I suppose. Need some light in here. Um, I'll use this thing. We could put a big plant thing right here. Maybe this is a big plant family. Or I could, um, instead of that, have like an entryway. Oh, I love that. Man, there is some cute stuff. I don't even know what to pick. Oh, I love that. And then we can like put the clutter kit stuff on there. Could put the box of stuff right there. We got Trinketville. Isn't there like a phone and keys? Yeah, here we go. Oh man, cool. Just, you know, a cup with teeth in it, change and bills. That's always very important. Notepads and pens. Look at that, that looks so nice. Oh, ooh, we can have this. Ooh, yeah, and then um, we can put this thing here. That kind of fills out the rest of the space. I really messed up by making this place so big. You're gonna have to forgive me on that. Oh, look, we can put this in the center. That actually kind of looks dope. Look at these, it's vine curtains. Do you wanna put those on the windows over here? Do you want to? I want to. Fun, it's just fun, I'm having fun. Wait, can I just like raise this up and make this like the tallest mirror ever? Wait, there's a hack. Look how tall I made it. I have to be honest, that looks kind of dope. I feel like I did a cool thing right there. Look at that, that's cool. I mean, in a house that was better than this, it would be very cool. Is that everything? I have like a plant by the door. Okay, let's go. Oh God, I have no idea how the bedrooms are gonna go. Like literally at all. Okay, yeah, we have a couple beds. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Let's go for the canopy bed in here. Hmm, this bed kind of sucks. Never mind. Maybe I'll will maybe I'll use this bed. <laughs> we can use the camping bed in the kids' room. Oh, look how fun. Yay. Okay, I'm just gonna have fun with the pastel pop kit in this room, actually. Now that I think about it. Any dressers? Okay, we have this dresser. Make it just a light wood. We need some lights. We could add on this side we have a salt lamp. And then on this side we have this thing. Oh, maybe I could add a wait, are there any desks? Oh duh, one with the pastel pop kit. Hello. I wanna put this thing on here, kinda of just like at an angle, because I also wanna put the computer. Yeah, oh my god, wait, cute. Okay, I have to move, or I could put it on this wall instead. 
And then we put this in here. Matches the windows. Cookie rug. No, this rug. I'll put it under the desk. This one. Cute. We can put this thing in here. Yeah, never mind. Get by fan. Sorry, fan. We're doing this thing. So cute. So cute. So fun. Yeah, I think that's done. Well, let's add a plant. Let's put a little plant on here like that. Now for the kids' room, which I think is going to suffer greatly. We can use, oh, that swatch is cute. So is that one. Oh, so is that one. Let's use that one. Let's just use all the camping stuff. I mean, honestly, whatever. Can I fit this thing in here? Wait. Oh, I want to use this. I'll just put it like back here. Oh, wait, that's cute. I gotta, I'll get rid of that window. And then this just is like in there and they have their bed. Oh, wait, this is cute. This is actually really cute. Like a little kid having this set up in their room. Yeah, totally. Okay. Is there any other kids stuff? Oh, a, car, a activity table? Okay, actually, yeah. This, I'm a little surprised at how much stuff we get. Maybe we'll put this out here and put the Yeti in here. Wait, this is the cutest kid room, kids room. Oh, this is big. We can put that right here. We can put the activity table and the Yeti. This room is actually like really adorable. This kid like has it freaking made. Are you kidding me? Does this rug fit in a way that's cute? Oh yeah. <gasps> oh look. Wow. Look how freaking cute. That worked out really good. Now the bathroom. We have a sink, no shower, no bathtub, but we have a sink. We can put the sink and the cabinet in here. Okay, I want a ceiling light. Let's just do this thing. We got plenty of bathroom decor. We may not have a toilet, but we have plenty of bathroom decor and we will be utilizing it. I'm thinking just like as much toilet paper as we can get over here. Cause you don't have a toilet, but you're gonna need toilet paper regardless. We can give them at least a little bit of what they need. I think that's good. And then <laughs> obviously the toothpaste, toothpaste. I mean, we can put this on the wall. Just cause we don't have a shower doesn't mean we don't use soap right by the sink. That's where you would need it. And a plunger. Why a plunger? If no toilet? Well, I don't know. I don't have the answer, but you never know. <laughs> I can only pose questions. I can't answer them. All this stuff. Get some combs in there, hair dryer, some towels on the wall. It looks incredible. I'm so pleased. I want to use the bathroom decal. Oh, I like those little fishies. That looks cute, yeah. Yeah, we got a little kitty face. It's not the most functional bathroom, but you can get stuff done in here. All right, that's the bathroom done then. And I think the inside is done. We're gonna do um, the backyard a little bit, but I think I'll paint before I get there. Let's see, what do we want? We've got some decor to the max that I wanna do in the living room at least. That really, that is definitely decor to the to the max. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, I'll do that. We'll do the country kit, kitchen kit, the kitchen country kitchen kit <laughs> walls in here. For the living room, we can do the tiger. We love the tiger or the boring. Oh, maybe we just do the boring. Yeah, that's probably good. And then in here, we can do the pastel pop, the blue and purple. Yeah, that matches. And then in here, we could do this. Whoa, maybe we should just do the pastel. That one's fine. It doesn't have to look that good. We can use this in there. Actually, that like, yeah, that works. Okay, and then let's go outside. Let's do a little bit of a backyard. We've got this thing, which we can put like a little bit back so that we have room for some lounge chairs. We put a fire pit on the porch. I know that's a terrible idea, but like that, that's nice. Is that everything for outdoor stuff? I mean, there's little, oh, jar, little, a jar full of fireflies. We could put those around. If you build a lot in The Sims, kits are really nice. <laughs> there's some nice stuff in these silly little things. Is that it? Are we done, Ski? That can't be everything in the Desert Lux kit, but I don't, yeah, maybe it's in a fire pit. We put, um, we have like this thing and that thing. Isn't there a fireplace too? Yeah, the fireplace would probably go on this wall. This looks kind of silly, but I think it's okay. I'm not totally sure what I'm trying to do here. We can put like another plant out here. It's got cozy outdoor vibes. The outside area is bad, but two things about that. The first, it was never gonna be good because we don't have enough stuff. And the second, I'm at the part in the build where I always get where I'm tired and I don't wanna do anymore. So I think that I'm gonna be done. And I think that I'm gonna say that this was a smashing success. I don't think there's anything wrong with this build. I think it's perfect, actually. We got this dope living room that actually I'm kind of obsessed with. We have the kitchen, which is like chic and trendy and actually pretty nice. We've got the entryway with this really cool like mirror statement piece. And then we've got a nice pastel master bedroom, super cozy and bright. It's so bright in here with those all those windows. It's nice. We've got our super functional bathroom. <laughs> and then we have this super dope kids room. 
that I actually think, like, the, uh, like, I'm inspired by this whole thing. I think this is really cool. I want to do this again in the future. I love it. And then the backyard, which is, we have a pool. And then it looks like this from the outside, which is just absolutely the best that I could do. <laughs> That's today's video. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked it. I don't build with the kits a lot because there's just so much stuff in the game. So that was actually really fun to look at everything and just, anyway, if you liked the video, give it a like, a comment, subscribe, and... If you want to follow me on any socials, all that stuff's in the description. I love you, have a beautiful day, and I'll see you all later. Goodbye!